so in this video I'm going to show you some of the networking projects that you can use as uh, the final year projects in your campus and present to your panelist so that you can be approved and as you can see we have almost six networking projects here and uh, we've covered all of these projects on our YouTube channel and you can just visit our YouTube channel and um, practice on how to implement the network designs we have the case studies here the PDF the documentation parts we have all of them here so guys I will start with project one this is our project one so in project one it, it was just a, a simple networking project through which we were co connecting two networks as you can see using a router and uh, what we could uh, implement here is only and what we implemented here was only VLANs and uh, subnetting so we were supposed to subnet a, a given network as uh, here on the documentation let me just show you so this was the documentation part of the case study of the project we were to design a network having two departments accounts and delivery departments and uh, as you can see two pieces uh, router and this was the network then we were supposed to subnet this network to allocate each department a given network okay and we extended further to do subnetting all right so guys this is a very good project for beginners you can take this project and practice on it so on our second project it was becoming tougher now so this was the second project which was a networking project to using Cisco Pakitesa so we simplified this as a simple oh I mean small office home office network which is Soho network design and implementation here we were to implement several technologies so let me just open uh, documentation part as you can see XY this one is a company and that one that one so among the technology that we implemented included we had one router and uh, a switch then three departments right each department is required to be in different VLANs each department is required to have wireless network so as you can see we implemented VLANs here then here VLAN wireless networks and also devices in, in all departments are required to, to communicate with each other so guys there also we implemented inter-VLAN routing and finally as you can see here there is a network here meaning we had to do subnetting so let me just go here as you can see here guys we had three departments one two three and as you can see we had to do subnetting and allocate each department a network as, sh as shown here okay as you can see we have done subnetting and VLANs are here alright then I don't know the method of uh, IP addressing we used. Let me just click on any of the PC and check. It would it was DSCP server. So guys, among the technologies that we implemented on project two are DSCP server, VLANs, inter VLAN routing, and uh, subnetting. Okay. All right. So let's move to project three. Project 3 also was becoming tougher. So here was project 3 here. As you can see it. This is our project 3. So under project 3 as you can see we had how many departments? A lot of departments. Almost uh, 6 of them. 6 of them I mean. And among the te technologies that we implemented here as you can see. We had a router here and a switch. Then 3 departments are attached to this switch for demo okay so meaning here we implemented DCP server intervillian routing and you see access points here here meaning wireless network and if I can open documentation part of it you can see this is documentation part of that project right and uh, among the technologies that we implemented you can see that one that one that one wireless networks okay then we had flaws that three flaws plus the departments and the networks 
all right and now we were suppo supposed to configure ospf now guys because you can see we have more than one router so we must configure ospf to allow these networks to communicate so that's that is explained here on our documentation guys so these are good projects that you can check and start with and implement as the final here project as you can see we also did dcp server we also did uh, interwheeland routing here all devices are required to communicate with each, each other then ssh which is very important okay then also okay that one that one port security which is very very important also guys okay so here we implemented we implemented dcp server inter vlan routing ssh vlans subnetting and port security and also i'm not forgetting i should not forget wireless networks okay so that is project three okay and this one we classified as hotel management system network okay all right so let's go to project four in project four also it was becoming tougher now so this was our project four as you can see project four we were sub we were kind of uh, connecting two branches of network main campus and the branch campus okay so we had a branch campus on this side and the main campus on this side and the main campus was connected to the something like cloud let's say that okay and uh, here also we implemented a number of technologies so i'm just going to open the documentation part of it all right now as you can see this that's a case study and now the required task i'll just uh, we were supposed to use to configure the cp server okay and uh, rip version 2 vlans vlans inter vlan routing and uh, let me check again inter vlan routing vlans dcp server rip version 2 as the routing protocol here okay and uh, also we have within configure wireless network so let me see if we had we had uh, anything here also we uh, there was some additional configuration we had here uh -huh. so dcp server interval routing vlans and uh, security settings so those were just uh, basic configuration so guys this is also a good project that, ca that you can redesign add some components and present as the final e exam and this project we classified it as so this project we classified it as campus network system okay so we had the file here and the documentation all right so let's go to project 5 that we did also project 5 was becoming tougher so this was our project 5 so this project 5 was called bank network system here we implemented a number of technologies here for example intervillian routing now intervillian routing that we did here was on the switches on the layer 3 switches and also we configure layer 3 switches to do routing and uh, other functional functionalities i mean yeah okay and now if i can open uh, the documentation part of the bank network system project 5 here okay and as you can see the case study here okay and uh, here are the requirement that you need to do we need to configure as a search as you can see email servers okay then we were to configure dcp server device you know we've been configuring a router as a dcp server now here it was to be a dedicated dcp server device which is located here so you see this device the one to allocate ip address to all the hosts in the network okay automatically right so that is our dcp server here in the in the network 
it is becoming more interesting in this project now project 6 which is bank network system so if i may proceed uh, with the documentation part and uh, that's that's that to communicate with each other devices to communicate with each other that's intervillian routing and we implemented switch virtual interface Inter intervillian routing on layer 3 switch okay and also guys host devices are to, that that's that's uh, dcp server and we need to do wireless network here ospf as the routing protocol okay and also subnetting okay and if we proceed we can see we had basic configuration that we had to do we created v several vlans we did subnetting and device configuration okay port security is very important okay and finally we tested communication okay so guys this project was a very important project and i really recommend this project for anyone who is going to do final year project talking project so just re redesign it add few technologies here make it look more beautiful make a very strong and a very focused uh, documentation and present this project okay all right so let's move to project six which is the final project here so here is our project six as you can see it it looks very simple and beautiful but it has been configured i mean several technologies has been configured here okay so this is our latest project so far and also you can use this project as you can see this project is a very very important project redundancy is very it's uh, it's high here okay we had two isps here the two two core layer routers two multi-layer switches and uh, several access layer switches we had wireless network here as you can see and uh, if i may open the documentation part of this project project six is here okay all right so as you can see the documentation part okay and we had a lot of requirements almost 17 requirements that we are reco that we are needed to configure on this topology here, which is very very important among the requirements are a routing protocol which is ospf then access control list port address translation to translate private into public ip addresses inter vlan routing we had to configure vlans then dcp server device so as you can see in our network also we had a server room which consists of the servers so this dcp server is tasked with configuring these host devices ip addresses automatically okay so if i may proceed with the documentation part to show something so let me start as you can see we have to configure part which is port address translation then access control list also we were to supposed to configure port security which is very important for finance department okay remember we said this one we classified this network as just a company network or, or even business corporate business network okay all right so as you can see here we had um, port, se port security for finance and accounts department then as a search for the routers and switches OSPF as the routing protocol okay and also server room device okay DCP devices multi-layer switch to be used as the to implement intervillian routing functionality okay and so on and so forth so guys basically and also in the pro this project we use the concept of public IP addresses you know in the previous projects we, we never used public IP address or did any network address translation so this this latest project the more I can I can say it's the most uh, one of the most uh, detailed one okay in terms of the technologies implemented because we had access control list 
part which is a port address translation for NAT network address translation. We had uh, interval routing, we had port security, we had SSH, we had DOSPF, we had uh, DCP server device which is very important in the network, we had etc. Uh, etc. Et so guys, I believe this six project can help you come up with a new project. Okay, if you start from the first project, which was a very basic one, then you come to the second one, which was, uh, you know, it was becoming more interesting. Okay, how to connect uh, three networks and implement the interval routing and VLANs. Okay, and DCP server also here. Okay, and now when you come to third project, we we added several technologies here for example uh, switch port security wireless networks vlans ospf protocols etc etc okay then if you come to the fourth one fourth one is was also becoming more interesting a campus network which is combined the main campus and the branch network we added several technologies here which is more important and also the fifth project as you can see it's very beautiful the bank network system okay a lot of technologies here then finally the sixth project which is the most detailed one in terms of the technologies implemented and uh, i believe if you watch all this if you watch all these projects you will be in a better position you will be in a better position to design or come up with the documentation on your own and design a network implement that network and present as the final here project networking project to your panelist and i believe you'll score good marks okay so guys to support us just go to our channel and uh, subscribe to our channel and if you need this documentation you need all the all of these documentations and the packet file then you you will have to do one additional task you have to join the channel membership okay you have to join the channel membership which is very very cheap you can see 0 0.99 dollars and you get these files all of this the packet is a file that has already been implemented and everything is working perfectly fine plus the documentation here we have six documentations okay all right and also if you need these projects if you need them we have already recorded a video of all these projects here all of them just go to our channel then under playlist click on the playlist okay then you scroll you scroll again then you come here enterprise networking projects you click there and here they now just click as you can see them simple networking project small office home office network we had hotel management network we have campus network design then the bank network design and the company network design so guys basically before you log out i believe this video will help you know which projects to implement as of the final year project please subscribe to our channel like this video and share with friends bye and see you again in the next